going to look at um, the standard normal curve, but this time we're going to look at um, kind of a reverse of it in that we're given an area to the left, to the right, and we want to find um, the z-score. So just dealing with the standard normal right now, so z-scores, uh, mean of zero, standard deviation of one, and what if I was given a curve, okay, and we'll really see the application of this later when we go to using x's instead of z's. Standard normal curve with a mean of zero, okay, and I am looking for this z, and I know that this area is 0 0.0918. Okay, how do we find this z? This is kind of the reverse of finding the probability. In this case, you're given an area or you're given a probability um, and you're looking for the z. So we're kind of working backwards um, to find that z. So the first thing that we usually do is determine if we want the area to the left or to the right. Um, and in this case, we figure out what we're given. Are we given the area to the left or are we given the area to the right? So this is clearly the area to the left that we are given. So this, I'm going to just go ahead and label this. This is area to the left. That makes our life easier because the values in the table are areas to the left. Um, and so there's no having to subtract from one or think through how to get the area to the left. We're given it. Um, so now we can go straight to the table, but now you're looking in the body of the table. So you're looking within the body of the table and finding this 0 0.0918. So it's going to appear somewhere in the table. Let's say right here. We'll kind of construct the table. Um, and then you're gonna you're gonna find that value. Oh, here it is. And I'm gonna look at what row it is in, and this one happens to be in the negative 1.3 row. We know it's negative, and that can save you some time because it's to the left of the zero, okay? Um, just like a number line. Okay, so it's in the negative 1.3 um, row, and then you look at what column it is in, and this one happens to be in the 0 0.02 column, okay? So this is what kind of the table looks like is you found this value and you're just looking at, okay, where is it in the table? Where, where is the z-score um, that corresponds to this area to the left? And we've got the negative 1.3 row, the 0.02 column, which means this z is equal to negative 1.32. Okay, so there's your z-score. Let's look at another one where we're not given the area to the left and we have to do a little work to find the area to the left. So, look at your standard normal curve, so a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. Say we want this z, and we're given that this area, not to the left, it's to the right. So what are we gonna do is 0.2514. Okay. So just like in our probability problems, we want to determine do they want the area to the left or do they want the right. Here we're given an area. It is the area to the right this time though. Our table doesn't give areas to the right, it gives areas to the left. Um, and so what we need is this area, the area to the left of this curve. Um, we know that the whole area under the curve for a standard normal or any normal distribution is one. And so to find this area to the left, we just simply take one minus 0.2514, okay? And that is 0.7486, okay? And so now that we have the area to the left, we just have to go to the table and once again, just like that first problem, look in the body of the table and see where it lies. So we've got this somewhere over here, this 0.7486. This one's positive, so it's greater than 0.5 and you can see that it's to the right of the zero. So it's greater than zero, it's positive. Um, and it is lying in the 0.6 rows. So we've got kind of our chart here with our 
z-scores, the 0.6 rho, and if you look up, it's going to be in the 0 0.07 column. So that means that our z is equal to 0 0.67. So not too much different than our first problem when we're given an area to the right. All we have to do is just a little work at the beginning and taking the one minus to get our area to the left and then go to the table just like we did in the first problem. Let's make it a little bit more complicated. And it's just going to be complicated at the beginning, finding that area to the left. This one. Standard normal curve, still, still working with z-scores. We want this z, and we're going to be given this area is 0.4898. And we want this area. Now, if we did 1 minus this time, we would be given this area and this area because the whole curve is one. Um, so we know this whole area underneath the curve is one. And so if we were just to do that, we would be left with this as well as that. Okay, so that's not really what we need to do. It's not the same as our last problem because we're not given the whole area to the right. We're just given a little piece between z and zero. But we do know that normal curves are symmetric, which means that if the whole area under the curve is 1 and 0, which is a mean, lies right in the middle of the curve, we know that about a normal curve, that the mean is right in the middle of the curve, then I'm going to know that this area from 0 to the left here is half of 1, or 0.15 half, 1 half. Okay. So if I know that, then I know that this right here, I know this whole thing is one half. I've got this, which is 0.4898. And I need this, which is going to be 0.5 minus this 0.4898. So to find the area to the left this time, in this case, um, because the z is to the left of 0, um, and we know this is 0.5, we take 0.5 and we subtract this area that we're given, this 0.4898. Okay, and this is going to end up being 0 0.0102. Okay, so the area to the left is 0 0.0102. That's what we need. Go to the table. Find out what row it is in, find out what column it's in, um, and in this case, I'm not going to walk through the table this time, but you should find it in the negative 0.23 row in the 0 0.02 column, which makes your, zero, your z negative 2.32. Okay, negative 2.3 um, row and 0 0.02 column is where you'll find that. Um, it's kind of like a word search. You're looking in that, that middle of the table, the body of the table, and figuring out you know, where it is along the edges for your z-scores. Okay, let's do one more that you might see um, for this. Let's look at kind of the same thing, but instead of the z lying to the left of the zero, it's going to lie to the right of the zero. Normal curve, standard normal, mean of zero, standard deviation of one. Looking for a z-score, so I know mean of zero, standard deviation of one. And I'm going to be given this area. So once again, it's an area between a z and a zero, the mean. We need the area to the left. And we're given part of the area to the left, but not all of it. Um, we need the rest of this. Well, we know, once again, that the whole area under the curve is 1. So it's symmetric, just like our last problem. We know that half of the area is going to be 1 half, or 0.5. And so if I want the entire area to the left this time, I'm going to take 
the value that I'm given, this por portion of the area to the left right here, and add the other portion of the area to the left I need, which we know is 0.5. So we know that the area to the left in this case is 0.9756. Look for 0.9756 in the body of the table. What um, column is it in? What row is it in? And this ends up being in the Z of um, 1.9 row. 0 0.07 column, so our Z is 1.97 corresponding to that area. All right, I hope that this helps you kind of see all the different ways that you can be presented with this, but I hope that you also think about it, that you sit down and maybe draw out the problem and, and write down that the area to the um, underneath the curve is one and what portions are 0.5 and kind of solve it like a puzzle and figure out the area to the left each time. All right, hope that helps.